and we call that the inflection. All right, the case for nouns, we're talking about the case endings, which is something you've already probably looked at so far, at least for the, the nominative and the accusative. So those case endings will tell you the function of the word. Um, and that's what I've tried to show down here. Look at the case. That'll tell you the function. Is it a subject or is it a direct object? And that will then tell you the meaning. All right, so kind of a little bit of fill in the blank here. The subject is going to be in what case? Nominative. Yep. All right. And I encourage you to use these abbreviations. Right, so when you do your parsings on your quizzes and your tests, it needs to look like, so Dr. K kind of tells you, should, how you how's it going to look like when you say nominative or accusative, when you express singular or plural, um, or masculine, feminine, or neuter, right? There's certain abbreviations that we need to use. So the direct object will be in what case? Yes. All right, outstanding. All right, um, it's down here is just something that try to give sort of a step-by-step -step process. So when you encounter a word, the first thing you need to do is you need to start recognizing what is the part of speech. What are some different parts of speech? Welcome, come on in. Preposition. Preposition. Conjunction. Conjunction. Adverbs, nouns, adjectives, pronouns. That's right, all these are parts of speech. All right, part of speech is not the function, all right? You have to start with the part of speech, recognize that it's a noun, and then parse it, all right? You'll parse a noun differently than you will verbs, all right? Not to get too far ahead of you right now. You don't gotta worry about verbs right now. You won't see verbs until chapter 15. Um, and you'll recognize based on what? How are you gonna recognize that it's a noun? You're gonna recognize because of the vocabulary that you've learned. All right, and you'll also start recognizing it to some extent, oh, this is not foolproof, that you start recognizing it based on the case endings that you're learning. All right, verbs will have different case endings than nouns. All right, um, so you got your, recognize your part of speech, parse it, we've recognized that it's a noun, parse it with gender number case, all right? And that gender number case, in particular, the case will tell you the function. You got the function, translate, ready to translate, all right? Okay, got a question for you down here. How do you know the gender? Here's my hint, a V. Starts with a word, starts with a V. How are you gonna know the gender of a word? Vocab. Vocabulary, outstanding, that's it, all right? You don't know the gender or the number based on the case. That's something totally different. How are you going to number? How are you going to know the number in the case? Case ending. Yeah, case ending. All right. Not from the vocabulary. Oh, the vocabulary will help you identify where is that case 